County, held <coughs> 532 board meeting. We'll start with item 1.1, the call to order and roll call, please. Mr. Anderson? Here. Dr. Kerrigan? Here. Ms. Gashbarian? Here. Dr. Griffin? Here. Ms. Holland? Here. Mrs. Olschwager? <coughs> Ms. Paul? Here. Ms. Smiley? Here. Next, we'll move to item 1.2, the approval of the agenda. Can I have a motion, please? Move. Second. Any comments, questions? Ms. Mata? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashkarian? Aye. Um, under, I should have said this before, my apologies. Uh, we are, I do want to uh, hold items 2.2 and get to that. Those meetings are 15 and uh, also 11.5, termination, the item under termination. We'll discuss both of those in those meetings um, just to back up a little bit. And when I get to 2.2, I'll also remind us that we're going to try to hold that and some things that we need to talk about in closed session. I'll also be asking for that closed session to talk about Illinois Compiled Statutes 5 ILCS 120 and specifically a few things under that, Section 2.2C, 1, the Employment, uh, Appointment, Compensation, Discipline, Performance, or Dismissal of Specific Employees of the Public Body, and Section 2.C, 2, Collective Negotiating Matters between the Public Body and its Employees along with Section 2C11, litigation and action against affecting or on behalf of a particular <coughs> public body has been filed and is pending to the court or when the public body finds it actually <coughs> probable. Um, I expect that there will be uh, action at the close meeting. Going on, let's go to the approval then of the specific minutes. So let's take item 2.1 of the regular meeting of December 15, 2015, <coughs> if we may. So moved. Second. Second. Comments. Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. As I mentioned, item 2.2, closed meeting December 15, 2015. I'd like to hold that for a session discussion. <coughs> Items 2.3, action on closed meeting minutes, and item 2.4, we may take those together, action on closed meeting recording. So, so moved. Thank you. Second. Any comments, questions? Roll call. Ms. Mata? Aye. Dr. Griffin? Aye. Ms. Holland? Aye. Ms. Paul? Aye. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Dr. Kerrigan? Aye. Ms. Gashgarian? Aye. Item three is the receipt of notices, communications, hearings, and petitions. This is a part of the meeting with the public may address the board. If someone would like to address the board, please approach the podium, state your name, and if you have available, if available written comments. Uh, or contact information, uh, please give that to Karen after you spoke. Is there anyone from the audience that would like to approach? Connor, go ahead. Hello. Hello, my name is Connor Mellon. I'm the student president of the Student Government Association. I came here before you to present the petition to establish CLC as an early voting site, and you unanimously approved it. So I'd like to thank you again for that. In addition, I wanted to give you a few updates about what's happening. I have been in continued contact with Jeffrey Werfel, the Lake, Corny, Lake, Lake County board member, and he has told me that the Lake County clerk, Carla Wyckoff, does need support the initiative and that she just wishes to establish the details and specifics after they've finished with the new primary season. <coughs> I'm going to be getting into a discussion with him soon that will tell us all the obligations and responsibilities and specifics of what would happen if when CLC is an early voting site. <coughs> so I'll make sure to come before you and give you that information when I see it as well. In addition, I have um, 
the petition here as well because when I presented it to you, you all showed interest in signing it yourselves. So I have the two versions. I have the first version that would go on the top. This would be the with the official declaration of support for the early voting site. And I also have the short version that goes out in mass copies if we run out of room on this one. So I'll just give this to Karen and she'll pass it around. And um, with that, that's all. You could probably start circulating it uh, with, uh, at the end of the table. Yeah, you can just start circulating it. All right. We'll just pass it around okay. the table. All right. Anything else, Connor? Okay. Well, thank, thank you, Connor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? We'll move on. We did have uh, received a few thank yous. Uh, one from our aunt Karen for a lovely and generous holiday gift. Evelyn Shealy also gets us as a gift card recognition for her retirement, also for the kindness and support of her work in the department over the years. Carol Bulakowski also sent us a note uh, in memory uh, for monetary uh, for the monetary donation to the National Alliance on Mental Illness in memory of her. <coughs> Remember, uh, some of us will remember Carol. She was the uh, Education and Affairs Administrator a few years back. We also received one from David Gazy. Uh, invited to give for his retirement, and he sent a thank you note to us. Also, two adult education students from continuing for continuing to fund the adult education program. They sent us a note, uh, they did not have any names, uh, allowing uh, the work that we did to allow them to continue on their, 